May 21 has been set aside by UNESCO as World Day for Cultural Diversity for Dialogue and Development. This highlights not only the richness of the world's cultures, but also the essential role of intercultural dialogue for achieving peace and sustainable development. Our correspondent Ngoziga HSC takes a look at a multicultural Nigeria in the midst of persistent insecurity. In December 2002, the United Nations General Assembly in each resolution declared May 21 to be worthy for cultural diversity, for dialogue and development. The day is important to help communities understand the value of cultural diversity and learn how to live together in peace and harmony, irrespective of the cultural differences. Nigeria, a multicultural society with over 521 languages, and over 1,150 dialects and ethnic groups has been identified by some foreigners as a culturally complicated country to live. Uh, I would say yes and no. Yes to the fact that we have some ext extremists. You know, some persons may see a um, form of dressing, Western dressing, as um, a discredit to the culture. Like if you go to the north, if you are not wearing your hijab or your jalabia, you are seen as a war, something like that, as a lady. You can't be on pants and walk freely. We appreciate each other's culture, in my opinion. But unfortunately, we've not been able to harness those cultures to bring everyone together. If people can actually embrace one another and look at it from the aspect that we are actually one, at the end, we we'll actually, you know, move this country, move it to a, the right direction. I think as a people, Nigeria as a people, we should be more tolerant, I mean, amongst ourselves, our culture, our values, and, um, and uh, most, most importantly, we should also try to tolerate ourselves when it comes to religion. With the spate of insecurity and calls for self-determination, which is loud on the southeastern part of Nigeria, cultural and ethnic diversity has often been described as a new threat. However, some beg to differ. You see, there has been a gap. And that gap, unfortunately, government has not been able to handle it, even though they see it. Now, when you have unemployment, for instance, people go to school, you, you know, met people to go to school, they finish school, and then there's nothing for them to do. That's a serious gap. According to the United Nations, deepening the understanding of the values of cultural diversity, we can achieve the goals of promoting human rights and fundamental freedom in a nation like Nigeria, where ethnic and religious differences seem threatened the bond formed since 1960 when she got her independence. Ngozika Ohaijazi, Plus TV News. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.